G'day and welcome. I'm Faintly Saintly and today we're looking at the demo of Node Farm. Now this is like a farming sim with a lot of automation, some roguelike elements as well. Just the demo. Um, there is also a play test available, I believe. I will have a link to the store page in the description as well if you'd like to check this out. The full game is set to release in quarter four, 2024. And frankly, I just saw this in the store and I thought this looks absolutely amazing. So I thought it was worth a try. So let's jump in and check it out. All right, you can drag this card. For some reason, I love when games have, you know, windows that behave like windows. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, by farmer, we're going to drag and drop a farmer node from the shop. Place it on the grass. Use WASD or the arrow keys to move the camera, drag it with the mouse and mouse scroll to zoom in and out. Oh wow, how big does this get? Okay, fair enough. Buy a well, drag and drop a well node from the shop. On the water. You can pick up already placed node by holding it with left mouse button. Hold shift to pick it up instantly. Control not to break connections. Gotcha. You make connections by fast dragging LMB from one node to another. Nice. By the market, drag and drop a market node from the shop. Okay. Uh, there you go. Connect the farmer to the market. Oops. Now a seed node. Connect it to a farmer. Water travels from the well through the farmer to the seed. Wait or click the well to speed it up. Okay, so there's a bit of um, cookie clicker action going on here. The vegetable has to be directly connected to the farmer. Now we can click the farmer to speed it up. All right, and that goes to the market and gets sold for some sweet coins. You can find a few useful features like deleting nodes or showing only connections on the toolbar. So we can delete. Have a nice photo mode. Connections. Oh, okay, that's useful. Grid. Node auto connect. Connects neighboring nodes on placement. Okay. Grow your farm. Buy three wells, three farmers, and three seeds. Resources can travel through other nodes only if connection color matches the resource color. Oh, I see. Look. So you have the water going into one farmer. All these farmers are connected by being adjacent. Okay, we can sort of copy that little layout, I suppose. Uh, so we want three of each. So I'm just going to go give this a little restart here. Um, farmer, farmer, farmer. Seed, seed, seed. We'll connect. Right, they're all automatically connected by being adjacent course oops uh, here we go and we want wells connected to the farmer and the farmer connected to the shop or the market pump out some water grow the veggies veggies have grown let's farm them out sell them quickly I see and that just goes in here we earn money and the cycle repeats Earn money and buy new islands to unlock new nodes. You can buy more farmer, seed, and wells to earn money faster, and water roads or veggie roads to manage connections. Uh, from time to time, money bag is spawned. Click it to get money. Nice. Free money is always good. Resources can only move on the connections of the same color. So water is on the blue connection, veggies are on the orange connection, So what have we got here? Veggie roads. Transports only vegetables and cooking resources can be used to extend veggie paths. So there might be a limit to how far you can connect things without a road. More free money. Um, so I should just uh, keep expanding, I suppose. Things are getting more expensive, I see, as I place them as well. So I need to be mindful of that. 
So four of each seems to be working okay. Let's pump out some water. Get these veggies growing and smash these crops. Get a bit of a head start there. So we're saving up for this island, which is 400. So eight, nine, ten. So you get 10 clicks of that uh, little money bag pop up, which is nice. Can I squeeze one more on? I can. Beautiful. Or I wonder if I should be sort of connecting them lower down as well. Uh, it depends how nicely they share, I suppose. If we click that, like, is that water being evenly distributed? Or, I assume. Hold Alt and click left mouse button or only right mouse button on the place node to select it in the shop. All right, so that's just a shortcut to purchase specific things. You just Alt click or right click to select that. And that's good to know. Uh, yep, thank you. Got it. So we can just about buy this. Well, now we can definitely buy this new island. Let's do that. Uh, well, what do we have here? The Autumn Island has potatoes. Can place salt and I can place sand. I can grow potato seeds. I can build a farm faster buff. Storage upgrades, multi-clicker. Click it to click all connected farmers and wells. Nice. Water bridge. Right, so this is sort of where the the rogue lightish stuff comes in, I guess, because these must be random every time you play. So we can do an olive desert island that has olive, salt, and uh, sand as well. With the uh, same sort of upgrades. What's this? More connections. All farmers and range can work with one more vegetable node. That's interesting. Uh, or another autumn island with potatoes. That one has portable wells. Did the first one? No. Portable wells are the same as wells, but more costly and can be placed anywhere, but you can't click it. So for a desert island or an autumn island with no water on it, that's probably a necessity. A well buffer, that's pretty good. And these autumn islands have lots of space. But I like the idea of using olives, and I like the idea of having water on the island. So I'm going to grab this one. I suppose the question is, where do I place it? Let's pop it there. By Boss Island. Veggie stock market, the price list on the left. Oh, I see. Uh, is open when you have at least two different seeds available. From time to time, the price will change. Use storage and road switches to sell veggies when the price is high. Also, maximum market price rises along with the number of veggie types you can grow. So let's look at this example here. What have we got? Water's coming into the farmers. They're growing corn. That's going to a big block of storage, which I assume I have now. Yep, I have storage nodes. They're going to a some sort of gate and then being sold. I'm not sure what these purple things are. They must be buffs of some kind. Um, we have the same with potatoes. So do I have this little logic gate? This one. The price switch. Blocks passage depending on the veggie market price. Gotcha. So we can set that to when the price is high, sell them. When it's not high, hold. Grab that one real quick. Grab that one real quick. Interesting. So, might need to do a little rearrange here. Might want to move the market closer to the center, I suppose. Just gonna 
pause. Uh, so if we... Let me do it this way. So they should all be connected. And we need the water. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, what a road. Maybe I can just use that. Connect that, connect that. Oh no, we didn't want that. We want uh, storage. Maybe two. And a price switch. You can make separate storage per vegetable type or make a shared storage and use filter gates to filter vegetables you need. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So how did this example work? So it went from the storage to the gate to the market. And the gate, here we go. Open if corn is worth more than two. Corn should be greater than or equal to two. There we go. Pop that one there. It seems alright. So now we need more farmers. Uh, should I build them there? Get some olives. Get some wells. What is that? Yeah, oh, is that not a, is that not water after all this? That's unfortunate. All right, that's not water, that's just a big hole. That doesn't help me. <laughs> so maybe I need to just have a little separate well set up here. I can... Hopefully connect that up all right. I will do the storage thing as well, I think. Now what is happening here? Ah, oh, hang on, something's changed. Oops. Right. Okay. So that setting was turned off that uh, connects all these automatically, my mistake. these quickly I assume they disappear over time water's going there you're going there and we just need something to this storage ah oh, and water there will be handy wouldn't it all right that was a bit of a stuff up but at least it's easy to identify what you've done wrong okay no cost depends on how many of such nodes you already have yeah that makes sense so things are getting more expensive exponentially Which is not a surprise. Still very disappointed about this not being water. So what else does this have? Salt and sand. So that's obviously going to be relevant at some point that we need to harvest salt, mine sand for things. Potentially. Um, all right, so how's this working? So the corn's currently worth $2, which is opening this gate, which means everything in storage is being sold. Although, it's still filling up faster than it's going down. So does that mean we need all storage in range since veggies faster? All storage in range sends more resources at once. Maybe, what does that cost me? 300 just for this little buff. Just to see what difference that makes. Now, obviously the price has changed now, so these storages is gonna fill up. 
you can use as many buffs as you want. Maybe I should put their storage near the border and then both sides can benefit. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, if I maintain this connection, I can move this here. Maybe I don't want to maintain that connection actually. I want that there, I want that there. some buffs there, get some storage on this side of the uh, tile. So they're all happy there. I'm going to take that connection off, put one there. I need a gate. When olives are greater than or equal to two in value, sell. So at the moment we're only selling corn. That looks right. My green is open, red is closed. Okay, storage is kind of balanced now with the inputs and outputs. Oh, look at this money. Very good. So what's my objective? Buying the boss island, which is 1500. So a little way to go there. One more well, and hopefully another olive. Oh, it's happened again, they're not connecting. There we go. Need to keep an eye on that. So this node auto connect needs to stay on, I think, just to keep things simple. Oh, does that mean anything else is stuffed up? Oh, they're right. That's all good. Oh, this one. Hmm. anything. Ah, oh, nothing needs water, that's why. Okay. That makes sense. We can click these just to get them moving a little bit faster, especially when uh, the price is high. It seems to be working well. I'm not making a huge amount of money, but I am quite limited in uh, terms of water which is a bit annoying, thank you, to this void, which completely misled me. Um, probably got the capacity for one more there, I would imagine. Yep, that connection worked. Pump out some of this water. What's this one? All farmers in range work faster. All farmers in range can work with one more vegetable node. I feel like that's good, but we probably don't have the water supply to facilitate that. I would imagine. It's hard to say because nothing's got numbers. this fit there? No. I'm hoping the next island has a bit of water on it then, because uh, this is basically tapped out. I I could build one more. I'm close to the island there, but I think I'd rather just have some stability. Um, oh, that turned off. Why is that turning off? Am I doing this? 
not on purpose at any rate. Ah, see, I don't want that connection, do I? I think. Keep these water supplies separate. Grab the money. So, yeah, it looks like water is not a bottleneck, which is good. Could just smash these and get things moving a bit quicker. Oh no, that's just going to fill up the storage, isn't it? Ooh, and it is full. Okay. So is there a logic gate of some kind that can tell me that the storage is full? Filter, price... Doesn't look like it. I might as well just buy the next tiler now and uh, get to work. What is this? The Boss Island. We have pickled olives, nor gates, dish sensor, equal gate, or gates. So we've got some like programming logic going on here. Hungry Island wants boiled corn, faster wells. That's probably a good idea. Portable well. That's also probably a good idea. Price sensor. Connects to logic nodes. So instead of a price gate, there's a sensor which can connect to other things. Interesting. Storage sensor. Ah, so if the storage is full, you can bypass it and sell veggies for cheap or something like that. Faster well, one way road. Okay. Multi clicker. Clicker to click all connected farmers and wells. Uh, that's interesting. I think I like this layout better because this has a, a well buff and portable wells. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. Uh, corn, isn't it? So we need to probably put it down where the corn can reach it. Okay, finish the first boss. Use the kitchen node to cook a specific dish for the eye of hunger. Make sure to use other cooking nodes to provide correct ingredients to the kitchen. All nodes on the boss island will be destroyed after finishing the boss. Right, so I don't want to build on this island. What is this? Cat, place him on the boss island to get bonus money after finishing the boss. All right, you can stay. So what I need a kitchen kitchen node produces a specific dish I cannot afford it uh, oh here's our salt okay oh we're gonna need to get salt from up here and like transport that down somehow that's gonna be a bit of a pain faster well is worth 150 as well can get a portable well just a what's currently cheaper I'm sure that'll go up very quickly logic cable logic switch price sensor put a sensor there if the price is two dollars take from this and divert directly there if the price is less than two dollars just fill storage maybe uh, anyway we need to get a move on here so kitchen and boiling boiled corn need to boil corn need to boil salt need to boil water okay so for example oh you can't intersect them okay Start with that. Get some of that in there as well. Uh, game is saved automatically, thank you. All resources are traveling to the closest node that needs them. Not in distance, but the number of nodes they go through. Okay. 
Remember to pre-process ingredients correctly with cooking pre-processing nodes. Okay. What else do we need? Salt. Uh, salt here. Now we need a road. This all goes to that, to that, to that, to that. Uh, I don't think we're getting any corn through there, are we? Maybe I just need to cut that for now. So all the corn should come to the boiling node, which will then pass on to the kitchen node, which will then connect to the Eye of the Hunger node. Okay, so we're getting everything we need. It's a little bit messy. Oh, another cat. You can go there and give me a bonus. Okay. Oh, we have one boiled corn out of 15 to defeat this boss. We have this little red bar going up slowly, whether that's a time limit. We have two corn. Uh, what's going to happen here? Right, when this bar fills up, he eats or consumes one of the corn that is being stored there. So we need to keep the pace and uh, basically outpace him, produce it faster than he eats it, which makes sense. Uh, how's this storage going? Running low. It's a bit concerning. How can I evenly split this? Oh, hello. Uh, there we go. Do I have to connect that, maybe? Uh, place him on the boss island to get... Bonus money for finishing the boss. I don't know if I need to connect those. There we go. Um, how are we traveling here? Water seems to be the weak point. Everything else is ready and waiting for the water. Oh, I could build a faster well. Whoops. Can I put them on the water? There we go. That should help. So all, all my wells are currently being bucked. Doesn't solve my little uh, corn problem here though. Maybe I need some, uh, where are we, veggie roads. And rather than connect there, I can connect there. Will that split off? Kind of. Some coming back the other way. <laughs> It's interesting. Now we're looking. Five out of 15. What is the bottleneck here? Still corn, still water. Water looks like it's smashing it. It is corn now. Do I have room for another little uh, farmy boy? I need to just drop that down out of the way. Okay, get some more corn happening. So it's going up to this storage and then just bouncing back down. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Is 
Is any staying in storage? A little bit. I think salt seems fine though. Salt is, yep, well ahead. Oh, they're pretty even now. Now it's just a waiting game, I suppose. What are you up to? Six out of 15. I'd love to do that a bit faster. I wonder what I can do. More farming, maybe, but that means more water, which means more expenses. Oops. Maybe I'll do nothing. <laughs> maybe I'll do this. Get that out of the way. Connect that one. Take that one off. Maybe I just need another node there. There we go. And I should be able to fit in a couple more farmers. Oh, but how am I going to get the corn out? Oh, huh, like that. Okay, I could build a few. One, two, three, one, two, three. There's some water for you. I uh, probably don't want to steal water from there. Maybe I should go this way. Don't know if that really makes a difference, but... Another faster well buff would be good. Maybe even... Some portable wells. And they should all be connected. Yep. Make sure they're all in range of the buff. There we go. And maybe one more salt just to stay ahead. So now... Watch these go up and see what the bottleneck is here. It might be water again. Salt's done. Corn's done. Yeah, we're waiting for the water. Maybe I can build another portal well there and that can just hopefully pick up the pace there a little bit. So this is very early in the game. You can see what a mess it is already trying to move things around. Obviously you can't cross paths, although there are bridges so I suppose you can to some extent. But layout obviously matters because, you know, you need to get salt. You can only get it from this island. You've got to transport it down to the chef. Very interesting. I can see this being quite addictive. It's very chill, but also at the same time, you need to do a bit of planning. And I suppose you have the threat of the boss, uh, I suppose, defeating you if you can't defeat it fast enough. I only assume. Have a look at now. Salt's done. Water's done. Corn's done. That's pretty good. Pretty much on par there. We're still getting corn in storage to an extent we are. Maybe I should use the price switch to say, you know, while Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. I was going to say, while well, prices are down, for, you know, cook, while well, prices are up, uh, sell, but we need to keep cooking regardless. We need to stay ahead of the curve with this guy. We're up to 11 out of 15, 12 out of 15 now. So we're certainly making progress there. Nice free money. We'll never say no to that. All seems to be going pretty well. Geez, portable wells are up to eleven hundred dollars now, and I've only got three of them. Just 
Makes me a bit nervous for when I need to expand, and I will. No question. What are we up to? 13 out of 15. Alright, this should be done very soon. 14 out of 15. Just need to wait for this to fill up again. And that should outpace his little hunger bar there. We should be right. Nearly there. Five more corn. Three, two, one. There it goes. Boom. Buy next island. After finishing the first boss, a special dish offer is unlocked. Connect the kitchen to the market and sell your dishes if an offer for them is available. Oh, I see. Special offer for pickles? Well, I don't have pickles, so I can't help you there. Can I grab this? Uh, okay, your goal in this game is to finish 10 bosses. Demo is limited to two. Interesting. Right, so... Pickles. I don't think I have pickles, do I? No. Got another cat here, though. So what are we doing with cooking this, but it's got nowhere to go. I can't connect it. Let me pop him there. Oh no. Damn, that was silly. Need to restore those connections. Is there a food sensor? I think there was, wasn't there? A, a dish sensor? Um, a price sensor. Maybe it was an option to unlock where you could detect, hey, they're asking for uh, boiled corn. You know, get that out there. Because at the moment, I think all these resources are just going to waste. We'll see. I'm selling for a couple of gold. Well, it's okay. At least the excess is still getting sold. But what happens when this is full? Five, six. Oh, we're getting no water. Ah, oh, okay. Resource can't go anywhere. Okay. So it is a bit of a waste, I think, unless they're specifically asking for it over here. Which is a shame. Can I store it? It doesn't look like it. it looks like I only store raw vegetables. What about market price? No. Just trying to see if there's any logic gates or anything I can use at the moment just to, you know, only trigger this if they're asking for it. And they are currently, which is good, but. Oh no, you need to, no, no, you can't do that. You need to be steamed. That might be a little bit of a bottleneck at the moment. What am I working towards? $6,000 for another island. I just have to pray there's um, some water on it. <laughs> Got 14 seconds left of uh, being able to sell these. I hope I can get another one or two in. Come on, little fella. There we go, 480 gold, that's a nice little bonus. Should I go straight for this next island or should I save up a little bit? No, I think I'll just go for it. What have we got? Grass island with carrots. Adds one more existing veggie harvest modifier on this island. 
all markets sell veggies for 50% lower price on this island, so I don't want to put a market on this one. We have an equal gate, we have a storage sensor. Storage sensor could be nice. What was this? All farmers in range are bucked. You can place wells. This modifier works on the islands placed west of this island. Okay. Farmer performance work is improved on the east islands from this, okay? And we can do salt as well. There's a dish sensor, that's probably a good idea. Potatoes, righto. I think we have to do this. Oh, there's no water though. I really prefer water. The dish sensor just would be really good though. Um, no, I think we need, need to get a grass island. So we don't want to put a market on this one. It unlocks storage sensors, which is good. That's a big one too. Uh, should I put it? Maybe this side. Uh, oh, this might be a problem. We need to cross this connection as well. We have carrot seeds, so got no money though. Can't afford a farmer barely. So you can see how quickly the scope of this um, really expands. And again, this is only the demo, so this is only what a couple of levels out of uh, I think ten it said, didn't it? So it's going to be plenty to do. Uh, a resource can't go anywhere. Oh, we're full. So that's when you get the storage sensor. Which is here. If I connect that. If storage of olives is greater than 80%, then... Then do what? <laughs> How do I make that connect? Hmm. Don't really have the room to play with that anyway. Let's get a couple of farmers. A couple of carrots. No, that's not right. Do it this way. This produces a signal depending on the connected storage state. It can be connected to logic nodes like roads, switches, or gates. Ah, there we go. That connects to that. Maybe. A crossing. There we are. Hmm, interesting. Could go on. I think I could play this for literally hours, so I better actually cut this video off, or I might just do that. Uh, obviously, lots to think about, lots to uh, plan and explore this whole logic gate system so there's some you know programming logic behind this you need to to plan to maximize your profit so you can proceed and uh, just keep growing I suppose very addictive I think um, I think I'm gonna play quite a bit of this so uh, but anyway this was just an idea just to uh, give you an idea of what, what it's like it's a uh, quite an interesting game and uh, if you're interested I will leave the link in the description as I mentioned at the start of the video, this comes out in uh, quarter four, 2024, but the demo is currently available on Steam. So check that out and put it on your wish list if you're interested. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot, keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. I do cover lots of new and upcoming indie games and VR games as well. So if that's your thing, um, stick around because there will be plenty more to come. 
And if you have any game suggestions for me, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.